Am I not human enough? This is the worst public humiliation I've ever experienced, says Benga Daniel's son, Debola Daniels. Hello everyone, you're so much welcome. Debola Daniels is the handsome son of ex-governor of Ugu State and also currently a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Married to the beautiful, delectable first lady at that time, Yeyefunke Daniels, who is an optimum of grace, peace, and no drama first lady. This couple have been in love for a very long time and have weathered the storm in their marriage that continues to serve as soccer to a lot of people around them. One thing you can't take away from Benga Daniels and his wife is the fact that they were able to stay through thick and thin and let their marriage be a model to other people, even much so to parents of children who have special able children. Out of the blues yesterday, we just heard that KFC was shut down by FAAN. And the question was, what happened? What in Shelley? Especially at the branch located at the Muritala Mohammed Airport in Ikeja. Debola, the handsome and very down-to-earth son of Senator Benga Daniel, has shared the worst public humiliation he has ever experienced. The so troubling narrative had a, a headline titled, Am I Not Human Enough? Hmm, let me read his post. Being disabled often rolls over my spirit, leaving behind a trail of shattered dignity and forgotten humanity. Nowhere more so than in Nigeria. I have never been the type of person to make a fuss or complain about my disability. My approach has always been laissez-faire. Ultimately, it is what it is. It is a part of my identity and like everyone else, I have my days of self-doubt and confusion as to how or if I fit in society. To be a disabled in Nigeria is to be undesirable, unwelcome and unaccepted. As I've said before, it's lonely, scary and an isolated place. Never has this been more true than it has ever been today, where I face the worst sort of public humiliation that I've ever experienced. To think that this happened at an international brand, KFC, at an international airport, Murtala Mohammed Airport, Lagos, is unthinkable. I arrived at the airport as normal for my Virgin Atlantic flights to London. I'm a frequent flyer and I'm extremely familiar with audio processes at Murtala Mohammed Airport. Years ago, after all security and immigration formalities have been completed, I would normally go to the Oasis Lounge to wait for my flight. For the past three years, the lift to the lounge has been out of service, so I have often found solace in other establishments, especially lounges, sometimes restaurants such as KFC. Today, I chose KFC. What a colossal mistake. I entered the restaurant with four other travel companions consisting of my brothers and wife. The security personnel at KFC Samuel greeted me by name as I have been there multiple times. Just as we were about to sit, the lady at the till, who was apparently the manager, called out loudly, No wheelchairs allowed! Our group paused in confusion before my brother Taiwo asked what she meant. She refused to listen to reason and stood her ground that at KFC Muritala Mohammed branch, wheelchairs and wheelchair users of all shapes and sizes were not permitted in the premises and we should leave immediately. My siblings and wife became instantly upset and proceeded to debate our position with her, ultimately culminating in raised voices and strong verbal protests. If there's one thing I hate more than anything in this life is to create a scene. I detest it. I do not like to draw attention to myself and as such I begin pleading with my people that we should just leave. My wife took some video footage and my brothers took some pictures. There were at least five other witnesses at the scene who tried to intervene as things unfolded. Eventually, our party departed to another lounge, upset and quite frankly pissed off. Normally, I would let this thing slide, but not today. When karma had prevailed, my wife and brother, Mayowa, went back and under the guise of buying some food and while audio recording, she requested the lady again and the lady reiterated a position that the business does not allow wheelchair into their premises. She stated that although she recently just transferred to that branch, it is something that has been drummed into them. No wheelchairs allowed. It echoes back to dark periods in recent history. No wheelchairs allowed. 
No colors allowed. No blacks allowed. Today, I feel less than a human. Like a guard dog not allowed into the house, lonely and isolated. I will continue to escalate this exponentially until I get a reasonable resolution and there's no stopping me. You cannot treat people this way. There are approximately 27 million Nigerians living with some form of disability. That's over 13% of the country. One in six people on the planet are disabled. You must not treat people this way. So my question to KFC is simple. Does this represent your approach to disabled customers or will you be looking into this? Am I not human enough for KFC? Mr. Debola Daniels. Hmm. My people. So these are the heartbreaking words of um, of Debola Daniel. Um, so KFC is said to have, okay, as I'm getting it, um, address the son of Winger Daniel and his negative experience at their store by issuing an apology on Twitter. They acknowledged his substandard service and committed to investigating the incident. Nigerian Twitter users voiced skepticism and disappointment regarding their response. Many criticized KFC for indicating the necessity for internal enhancement, arguing that such matters should have been resolved earlier. Some users raised doubts about the alleged policy preventing wheelchair usage and called for transparency regarding its justification. Others underscored the significance of equitable treatment and voiced apprehension for individuals lacking platforms like X to voice their complaints. Um, numerous individuals demanded accountability and prompt measures using KFC to hold those responsible accountable and prevent the reoccurrence of similar incidents. Hmm. My people, mm, let me quote what KFC said exactly. Dear Ademola, Dan Ademola Daniels, we are extremely sorry about the poor experience you had at our store. It highlights how much more work we need to do internally to develop and align our teams to KFC's values and principles. We are currently investigating this and we are sure that we would um, get to the root of this matter. Hmm. So, um, let's take some comments. Somebody said, foolish policy. Another said, if he's not Daniel's son now, now if now ordinary Nigerian, what will happen? Stop this discrimination. Another said, apart from the conditions given to KFC by the minister, the lady that sent the brother Daniel out must be sacked. If your management has a stupid law and you to carry it out, you must pay for it. Another said, they have it. The lady cannot just fabricate it. Too full of themselves. Waiting then they cook safe. No be magia and curry fulam. Waiting man good as it is fast food. May God help us all. Okay, so those are the few comments we can take now. But um, the truth of the matter is, of course, the prompt response was because uh, now the son of the powers that be. That's the truth of the matter. However, to share another perspective, there have been situ situations where even in court, an ordinary citizen have experienced something, and when once it gets online, once it gets online, the relevant authorities are giving basbos. So even if we are not to be Debola Daniels, and it was shared on social media, I'm sure Nigerians will not take it easy. Right. So as we think I'm to the right, that's how we could think I'm to the left. Um, so now, as at this moment, they are yet to be released um, to open. I, I think there should be a learning curve, not just for KFC, but for other, other eateries. Um, according to Debola statistics, 30% of Nigerians are living with disability. And um, the truth of the matter is, there are disabled people around us. Some of them are family members, they are friends, they are children, they are relatives, they are neighbors, they are colleagues. Do they not have the right to live? Should they feel less than humans? No, they shouldn't. Because it's not fair. Even we, where we they do shakara, carry each other up, say we are not disabled. It doesn't take <laughs> up to a minute to become disabled. That's the truth of the matter. But um, in our humility as human beings, we must always put ourselves in the shoes of other people. It makes sense like that. And for the staff... You can check the video online. She was so outrightly rude. No, there's even a way that maybe your company has a policy. And as a human being, how would you feel staring at the face of another person and telling them you cannot no wheelchairs allowed? That's inhumane. Our customer service in Nigeria, to a very large extent, is absolutely 
poor. It's almost non-existence that if you're able to now go somewhere or we, we have a service rendered to us and we are reaching out to the customer service and they speak nicely or treat us nicely, we are overjoyed because it's rare and it shouldn't be. So I think KFC should look into this and other organizations as well. And maybe there should be a rule from this. It might be a learning curve for everyone to say, okay, all eateries, make sure you do your, pl put it outside self that disabled people are welcome here. Yes, it should be a policy. Who are we to judge? Who are we to, to, to be condescending? Imagine showing Boso to another human being. It should have a rollover where people who use wheelchairs should be able to climb nicely and without any assholes. In fact, by adventure, maybe the baller didn't go alone. The security, like he said, the security guy greeted him. So what exactly has gone wrong? I think we should not just keep quiet, even if they open KFC of that Murtala Mohammed branch. They should. And it was a matter of urgency. There are some little, little things that we should put in place. Ebola is the one experiencing this. Do you know how many disabled people have been further pushed into depression because of things like this every day? Our roads are not conducive for them. Our malls are not conducive for them. We can do better. This is the population of very enlightened and educated people. We can do better. Please drop your opinion in the comment section below. Peace.